this is very very important topic and in this some seven methods for food production are given and these methods are elaborated in short see i will give you for clue for that in single sentence the whole information will be remembered by you and it's very short one फिर से इतना पानी उफ 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 फिर से इतना पानी उफ 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 सी फर फ्रीजिंग स स्मोकिंग इरेडिएशन इतना इरेडिएशन पानी पॉस्चराइजेशन उफ यूज ऑफ इंसेक्टिसाइड्स देन यूज ऑफ inert gas and use of preservatives see fir se itna pani uf 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 freezing smoking irradiation pasteurization use of insecticides use of inert gases and use of preservatives now we will see one by one freezing freezing is the best method for food protection because biological and chemical reactions in food they are slowed down in uh, refrigerator at low temperature remember this can be asked as give reason why refrigerators are kept in the kitchen used in the kitchen a uh, biological and chemical reactions in food are slowed at low temperature that's why the uh, food is protected and refrigerators are used in kitchen then smoking is the second method smoke is produced by using aluminum phosphide and food is protected irradiation that means use of rays is there that's why it is called irradiation uh radiations such as electrons high energy electrons then x rays gamma rays these are used to destroy the microorganisms as well as insects and because of that food remains in good condition for longer time now uh, what happens because of radiation uh the potatoes onions they can be kept in good condition for so many days because their life processes are slowed down whereas in fruits because of radiation uh, the uh, metabolic uh, activities they uh, these activities of uh, ripening of fruit they are increased enhanced these two things happen because of radiations in fruits the rate is increased whereas in uh, potatoes and onions the uh, rate is decreased growth of and that's why potatoes and onions are irradiated frequently so that they can remain in good condition for that irradiation plants are uh, set up in maharashtra at lasalgaon for potatoes and onions and at navi mumbai for spices and condiments then pasteurization we use the milk bags and on that if you read uh, carefully on that milk bag pasteurized milk is given that word is frequently written there why because these bags they have undergone the process of pasteurization this process of pasteurization uh, is developed derived by the great scientist louis pasteur and that's why uh, in the memory of louis pasteur it is called pasteurization it's very simple one what is done here boil milk at 80 degrees celsius for 15 minutes you have to boil milk at 80 degrees celsius for 15 minutes and then cool it quickly 
it destroys microorganisms in milk microbes in milk and that the uh, milk it can remain good for longer time so pasteurization is very very important process what we have to do boil milk at 80 degrees celsius for 15 minutes and then cool it quickly only this process is done use of insecticides c i d e this word c i d e means the chemical that kills if it is used with insects it becomes insecticide that means kitanashak and these insecticides are used in farming processes uh, in large quantity but it should be used in proper quantity melathion melathion this is the name of insecticide and it is sprayed on the gunny bags of food grains food grains they are uh, kept in gunny bags and on those gunny bags melathion is sprayed so that it can uh, work as insecticide the chemical that kills insect is called insecticide kitanashak then use of inert gas inert gas like nitrogen it is used in uh, the air tight food packagings for example potato papers lays chips uh, these are uh, having the air in that there are less quantity of, less amount of uh, those vapors but these are filled with gas and which gas is used here nitrogen gas so that it will uh, not allow the growth of microorganisms in them and uh, air tight food packages packages they are uh, filled with nitrogen gas then last one is use of preservatives preservatives are, are the substances those are uh, helpful in the process of food preservation here there are two types of preservatives natural and chemical preservatives natural preservatives they are uh, readily uh, uh, available in our kitchen salt sugar and oil these are useful for making the pickles jams then murabbas uh, then petha petha is also made by Uh, sugar murabbas in that also use of sugar is done why because it is working as natural preservative and uh, salt salt is also very useful natural preservative uh, oil is also very useful in pickles we use this too in proper quantity if there is uh, imbalance of this uh, salt as well as oil in pickles it will uh, affect on the quality of that pickle in this way natural preservatives are very important then chemical preservatives this chemical preservatives the examples are uh, vinegar vinegar is also called as acetic acid chemically citric acid it is uh, named as nimbusatva in our uh, kitchen then sodium benzoate some nitrate as well as nitrate salts these are used as chemical preservatives these are absorbed in powder form uh, or liquid form and they are used as chemical preservatives in sauce then jellies jams and ready to cook foods Uh, and ready to cook vegetables in that a uh, chemical preservatives are added so that these uh, preparations they can remain in good condition for longer time and all these uh, productions all these uh, things they are moderated observed by some authorities and for that government setups have done uh, and uh, two government uh, organizations are there one is 
Food and Drug Association FDA and FSSAI. These two are institutions. They inspect and they govern the quality of food as well as drugs by FDA and food standards uh, are maintained by FSSAI. These two are very important. Then World Food Day, it is uh, observed on or celebrated on 16th of October. In this way, we have studied very important topic, methods of food protection and in that the types, two types of natural as well as chemical preservatives are also studied by us. Once again, I will remind you one sentence for summarizing this whole data in single sentence. We will see it na pani. Uf, uf, uf.